Shabbat Shalom, and we're in this in-between time between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, where we can wish each other both a Shana Tova and a Gemar Tov, a, a meaningful fast that comes up in just a few days. We are beginning Shabbat Shuva, the Shabbat in between these two holy days, a Shabbat where we're really supposed to focus on returning and growing and changing, and of course, Cantor started perfectly with that that song, that hope that we all are returning to our true selves. We want to start this Shabbat, give you the opportunity just to have a, a quick gathering together, perhaps by yourself or just with family and friends, as we welcome Shabbat at home tonight. We're going to light our candles and say the blessings. If you're doing it with us, please uh, you can find the blessings in the in the Sidor on page five if you're following along. virtual we welcome each other shalom alechem our words of welcome sing with us shalom alechem alafe ashare alafe Officially bring Shabbat into our homes by singing Lechadodi. You can find it on page 40 and 41. Again, sing with us and bring the joy in. Lechadodi, <laughs> 
If you choose, you can stand. We don't see at home. I always say that so you don't have to worry. But as we get to the end of Lechadudi, we sing these last couple of verses standing. You can face the door of your home. And I ask that you just imagine in your heart and soul right now what you want this new year to look like. Who it's going to be filled with. The, the joys it's going to be filled with. I want you to think about all that goodness and I want you to bring it bring it into your home tonight, into your heart tonight, before we gather for Yom Kippur in just a few days. <laughs> So what we're doing tonight online is just a short little Shabbat celebration. We're going to turn together, if you're following along, to 64 and 65 for the Shema. Of course, lots of you know this. Don't be afraid to sing along at home. Shema Yisrael Adonai your ikigai was, your ikigai, would you know? Now, if you don't, I don't want you to panic because ikigai is not Hebrew, it's not English, it's actually Japanese. And it's Japanese for what is it that makes you wake up in the morning? In Judaism, when we wake up, 
One of the first things we're supposed to do, one of the first prayers is mode ani, a prayer where we say, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for a new day. Thank you, God, for this new opportunity. And we should, as we thank God for that new opportunity, think about what it is that we're going to fill the day with. In the Japanese culture, there is this concept of ikigai, which is very much related to modeani and very Jewish, which is what is it that makes me wake up? What is my passion? What is my love? What is the thing that I am so excited about, so excited to work on, my cause, my mission? As we begin 57, 84, on this Shabbat Shuva, a Shabbat where traditionally rabbis are supposed to stand on the bima and give these forceful sermons about the need to repent and change. On this Shabbat, I ask you to spend a little bit of time thinking about your ikigai, or what it is that you wake up for in the morning and say, thank you for this chance. We all should have it. We all should have a mission. We all should have a purpose. Do you have a ikigai, a mission, a purpose? I do, I do have an ikigai. I, I, um, I do not take for granted the, the voice that God has given me and it inspires me to use my voice every day to bring comfort to others, to make a difference in the world, whether singing or speaking. Um, I feel like I've been given a gift and it's my obligation to use it in a powerful way. Beautiful. I think I'm, it's kind of related for me. I, I love the ability to, to stand with all of you and help inspire us and guide us through challenging times, through uplifting times, and certainly the most powerful day that's coming up, Yom Kippur. I'll tell you that the two of us have, it's been exciting preparing for these days, thinking about blending of both tradition and creativity to create something that, that lifts the two of us up and, and in turn we hope lifts you all up, and, and, and that is certainly part of our mission. And I think for, for, for all of us, we have it. And, and spend some time thinking about it this Shabbat because you deserve it. We're gonna take the opportunity to say the Kaddish, to remember family and friends who are no longer with us, of course, on Kol Nidre and more specifically on Yom Kippur after the main service, we will gather for Yisker <clears throat> and we will have the names and we will read the names and we will say the names of folks that we're thinking about. But tonight I ask you to think about those that you love if you're marking a yard site tonight, if you choose, if you wanna rise with us as we say the mourner's Kaddish for our special souls that made a difference in our life. Now remember the mourner's Kaddish changes between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. We add the word le'ela, it, it's repeated. And that's because we're a little bit closer to heaven and our loved ones are a little bit closer to us. We're elevated and there is that, that close connection allows us to feel them even in a stronger way than we might normally do. Yitgadal v'yitgadash shamei rabah v'alma divara chirute v'amlich malchute Bechaye chon, uvyome chon, uvchaye de chol beit Yisrael, bagalau vizman kari vimeru amen. Yehe shme raba mevorach le ulamul al meal maya. Yit parak ve yishtabach ve yit paar ve yit ramam ve yit nase. Ve yit hadar ve yit hale ve yit halal shemeid kudisha brichu. Le ela le ela min kol birchata ve shirata. Tushpechata v'nechemata Damiran b'alma v'imru amen Yehe shlama raba min shemaya V'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen Ose shalom b'mromav Uya ase shalom Aleinu v'al kol Yisrael V'al kol yoshvei tevel V'imru Yahse 
שלום, שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, יעשה שלום, יעשה שלום, שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל. אני מבקש לך לפתח את הקדוש קדוש 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 Wishing each other again a beautiful 5784 and a meaningful fast coming up. Baruch Atarunai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei peri hagafen l'chaim. And I didn't pull out a round challah for tonight. I have a regular challah here. Hopefully you do at home. I want to say Baruch Atarunai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem min ha'aretz. Amen. Amen. Do you want to say anything else for that? Just again, want to wish uh, peace in your house this Shabbat. Peace, love, family, health, goodness, all part of beginning 5784. We look forward to seeing lots of you beginning Sunday night. Make certain you bring your tickets. Bring your IDs, bring your bags filled with non-perishable food, kosher food that we'll be bringing to Craig's Pantry. Uh, and some of you ch will choose, especially on Monday morning, some of us wear all white to symbolize the, the holiday, whatever works for you. Anything you want to share? My heart, sharing my heart <laughs> with all of you. Looking forward to seeing you all for you. Thank you for it. bringing us into your homes tonight and letting us uh, make Shabbat a little bit more special. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom, Shana Tava, Gemar Tov. See you soon. See you soon.